Dear colleagues, in this video, I intend to show a vertical job. This is the main incision. And now, viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber. And now, capsulorex is, is to be done. You can see this is a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis. This is a side port on the left side of the main incision. And now, a capsular tag is raised. This is a 26 case bent needle. Now I take a uterata forceps, forceps, keep an upward thrust at the anterior leap of the main incision and thus I do this continuous curvilinear capsular axis. That's it. And now hydro dissection is to be done. Fluid is passed at the equatorial part, nucleus is tapped, the nucleus is rotated and thus capsulocortical additions are broken and now see a vertical chop. Vertical chop is you hold the nucleus at the center and the chopper is just in front of the main um, FECO tip and you just divide the nucleus into two parts into fragments here it is first clean the superficial cortex to improve visibility and now hold this nucleus firmly and place the chopper just in front of the main uh, FECO tip and chop it. So the nucleus divides antero posteriorly. This is vertical chop. So the nucleus has divided into four parts. Now each fragment is emulsified and removed. Vertical chop is useful in small people when you don't want to go to the periphery, you don't want to go to the rexus margin, just you want to remain at the central part of the cataract, then vertical chop is the answer. That's it. The nucleus is managed. Now, a lot of cortex is there in this case. Little bit of viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber. And now, 23 goes Simco cannula is taken. There is only one side port in this case. And this is how you remove from the cortex with the Simco cannula. So within few seconds more than half of the cortex is removed. Now go through the side port and remove the rest of the cortex. That's it. It is done. So in a jiffy if cortex is removed now this is what I call hydro polish polishing the posterior capsule with fluid jet because there are some cells sticking to the posterior capsule it has been being cleaned and now in this case a hydrophobic single piece acrylic lens is being implanted under irrigation the trailing haptic is guided by the irrigating probe into the capsula bag. And now the irrigating probe is introduced through the main incision. The lens is dialed and whatever viscoelastic substance was there in the lumen of the cartridge is removed by irrigation. This is a bit of moxifloxacin and now the single side port is hydrated like this and this step incisions becomes 
waterproof. The main incision doesn't need any hydration. And now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. At this time we must see there should not be any cotton fiber, there should not be any particulate matter in the anterior chamber. So this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber and the capsular bag. Now the anterior chamber is formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Don't forget to check the owners.